I've been gone for so long, and I know that. Um, a lot has a lot has happened since my last YouTube video. I don't even remember what my last YouTube video was, because I filmed like two since then, but didn't post them. I just I don't know I don't know, but I also I'm trying to go to school in September. My deadline is February first today. for my portfolio I only have portraits because that's all I like painting um and my art teacher went through them and he was like you know these are good I'm sure you'll be fine I'm sure you'll get in but like you know we could add some things um like still life which is you know like me painting this bottle and that plant arranged like things that don't move you paint them um, I did paint some teacups in a teapot, but I don't like it. And I could also do landscape. I did attempt a landscape painting, which I'll throw up. Um, I liked the beginning of it, and then I did like the bottom half of it, and now I don't like it at all. Um, I hate painting landscapes. I wish I didn't. They bore me. They're pretty. They're very pretty, but just like it's boring for me to paint. So you don't technically have to have a range of things. Like you could just submit 15 to 20 pieces of like one specific thing um, to show like what you're good at and what you like to do. Um, but it's just like good to show diversity, but I don't have diversity, <laughs> so. This is my new sketchbook. Uh, I love my sketchbook in Utah. That was rough. I got home and yeah, I was freaking out. I was like throwing everything everywhere, trying to find it, left it in Utah. Um, so someone's gonna mail that to me hopefully, cause I need it. But anyways, got a new one. So I decided to get a red one this time and I got this really cool sticker at Zoomies where you get all your stickers. And then I have these other ones too. This one I picked up at Zoomies. This one is obviously from Vans Shoes. And then this one I got for Christmas. Um, I've been working on it a little bit. I've, again, I've just been so busy that I haven't done anything for a, a hot minute. Um, so I'll just show you what I have so far. It's just a few pages. I'm really trying to branch out and try, like my goal with this sketchbook which is why I got red, is to do color in it. Um, with my last few sketchbooks, it just like, like I gave myself a challenge in my black sketchbook, wherever she may be. In this sketchbook, um, I gave myself a challenge to like just do ink, which is all I did. And I've been stuck in a rut ever since. I've just been doing ink because now I feel like that's my style. like my like fine liner with like ink i love doing it i feel like that's like my style now but now i can't get out of it don't look at my address okay this is the first page this is the first portrait that i have in my sketchbook that's a moth and then i have this bra and this hand pointing to it you know when my boyfriend saw this he was like why did you draw a bra I love this page. So I did this one first. I did her and I was like, you know, she looks like someone who's probably a feminist, like just looking at her. And so I just did no, cause that's, they just, I don't know. And then I did this one. I just saw it on Pinterest and I just wanted it in my sketchbook and I love it. I hate this page. So this is just a portrait. She's fine. Her hair was fun. Um, but then there's this page. 
what is this? It was supposed to be like a yoga pose. And so I did like these colors in the background to try to like make it look more fun because it looks stupid. And like, I like like this part of it, the color part, but this, I colored it all in black. To me, maybe it would make it fine. It's just not fine. It's just like, I really, then I did this portrait. And then I did this, this one because here's what happened. This is the page that you start on, right? So I started to do this girl on this page and then realized I did her nose at the wrong angle. And if you look, I like did it the same way. She's supposed to be told it this way. That's why her face looks all funny. I still like her. That's my pop of color. I did this girl for a video yesterday, but I, she's kind of funny. She has like a really big head and a long neck and then like a tiny body. And that was what I was going for. It didn't turn out exactly like I was thinking, but I mean, she's just funny looking. This is supposed to be Schmidt from New Girl. This is one of my stickers I made forever ago, if you all can remember. This page I like more. This page is New Girl characters. I was watching New Girl last night. Um, this is supposed to be Cece. This is obviously Winston. And this is Nick Miller. And then I just did this page that I covered because I don't like it. So, ready for this? I was feeling really creative and really motivated and then um, I made this. I tried using my gouache that I have, but my gouache is actually really cheap and terrible. Um, and I don't have white either. I, all my colors are like dried out. So I made like this wash of color. And then I was like, that's boring and terrible. Let me draw on it. So I did that little sun and these little marshes. I just don't like it. So I covered it with this paper. And then I just did this one, which I like. I just did this like tree plant. And then I thought, what if it was coming out of an eye? It's creative. It's all right so far. I don't know. I'm not loving the whole, just the whole thing in general, but I have to get back on track because I hadn't drawn in a long time. Other than that, I've been doing some paintings in art class. Um, the one I did, basically I only have time to go on Saturdays anymore. The one I did two Saturdays ago, I really liked it and then I finished it and then I didn't like it so much, which sucks. Um, I still like it. The one I did last Saturday, I just don't really like it. Like it's okay, it's interesting. Her head's kind of funny looking. I'll show you a video right now. She's all right. I know. So, a while ago, I thought I was gonna be a not a manager but like a graphic designer social media person for a fashion company i know sounds like a reach so what happened is my aunt that i had lived with here before i moved into this apartment she is friends with a woman who owns these fashion boutiques here in massachusetts i think she has like three of them so i went in there and they're so cute so cute it hurts um so I got this, it's like a, it's a crop sweater. It has a little cinched, um, it's really soft. Um, and I'll show you the jumpsuit that I got. This is literally the cutest thing I own right now. 
when I met with the owner, I think she was wearing this, but in green, because she came in in this jumpsuit. And I was like, she came in a jumpsuit, a trench coat, some heels, literally the cutest human being I've seen in my whole life when we had like our interview. Turns out she just wanted like a regular employee for like the season. So miscommunication. But anyways, I think she was wearing this and I was like, she's so cute. And then I found this, it's the cutest thing I've ever owned in my life. But again, I'm gonna be kind of nervous to wear it like out because like, I don't want to draw attention to myself, but like, I myself want to wear cute clothes. Coming soon will be an apartment tour, building and room. We have a pool. I'm so excited for summertime. My pool looks over the ocean, so I can just like hang out in a pool and like look at the ocean. <laughs> That's uh, more cold than my pool. I'm assuming that's how rich people live, you know? If I had a house, I would want a house with a pool on the ocean because there's no better way to live than that. Um, when I'm finished with my portfolio, we'll also do a portfolio tour of the pieces I picked. And we'll hope that I get, uh, we'll hope that I get uh, in and that FAFSA helps me. Hopefully they will. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry I was gone for like three months. But yeah, Bobbles and Lace, great store, cute clothes. Thanks for hanging out with me.